Hey everybody, Sambo here. Welcome back to my channel for another thrilling, riveting video. And today, let's talk about some of my personal favorite assets on the Steam Workshop. Um, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite asset? I'm, I'm always looking out for something new to download to throw into my city. Um, also, this map, I know you guys are going to ask me, it's called Hayden Island Nunavut. Nunavut is from northern Canada, in case you didn't know. Um, basically, like Greenland area up there, that's why it's really cold, so this map doesn't really have many trees on it. So, anyway, let's get into the first one. I have some suggested assets that I'm going to mention at the end from you guys, but let's get into mine first. Now, one of my all-time favorites is this water treatment plant. So basically, it's all you need for your water, your sewage, because it treats your sewage back into water and vice versa. It just keeps going. So you don't need to worry about putting in any type of pumping system or sewage outlet area. Um, one thing that you need to take note is you need to make sure that you don't place it in a polluted area because it is a water tank. So if it goes into a polluted area, then obviously your polluted area is going to get into your water system and make all of your people sick which we don't want but maybe you want that i don't want that maybe you are a bad mayor <laughs> an evil mayor i don't know but this water tank is really cool so i definitely recommend getting it the next one is this east european power line now you might be wondering why a power line but i really love this one because it's it's not intrusive like if you compare it to the vanilla power lines the ones that you have to drag out they're really huge, but this one is really not intrusive at all. You can see I've used it throughout the whole map. You can see it where all those little black dots are. Um, and basically all it does is it connects your power without actually having to drag out those huge big power lines. There's no need for actual power lines, the actual connecting lines. You just need to put down the power pole and that's basically it. Now, I really love these because if we look at the, the landscape, you can like there's it, this whole area is full of them but you can't even see it and that's why i love it because they just blend in now you can see them once you zoom in but when you zoomed out they're not there they're really invisible you can throw them in amongst trees and you wouldn't even know they're there so it it makes it look really nice the next one is anything to do with parking lots now parking lots are really good to have in your city because first of all it makes your city look really alive um, because all these sims, they drive up, they park, they get out the car, they walk to the shop, and vice versa. And I just love seeing cars everywhere because it makes it so alive. So there's different types of parking lots. So you can see there's ones on the left there, there's ones on the right. And even just looking at that image there, it looks so cool, right? Just having those little parking lots. Um, you can even throw them in front of the, the harbour. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how to draw them. They're pretty easy. You have a lot of different options. So you have to drag it out yourself and then you have to place them down um, you have different sizes of parking lots as well but I'm just going to go with the smallest one so it connects to an existing road network or you can just drag it out wherever you want so I'm just going to drag it out connecting to this dirt road now you need to make sure that it is flat you need to make sure it's all at the same level and if it's not at the same level there is a way to see it which you'll see in a second and once you've basically found your space to put in the parking lots you have to actually put down each parking lot like this so it doesn't just come naturally if you don't do this part they won't park so you need to click on these parking lots and drag them into place now i, I don't know there's something about this that i really love um just placing it down and then if you try to place a parking lot anywhere else for example right here it doesn't work so it comes up blue which means it's not going to work properly so they so you can only place it on these parking lots now i don't know if you can see but that car at the back the greenish bluish looking one it's hovering which indicates the parking lot is not flat now we don't want that because that looks silly so you can just use the move it mod elevate it up a bit until the cars are no longer hovering and there you go that is basically it now cars can still drive through so you can like make this a through road um, the speed is quite slow, so keep that in mind, but you can increase the speed. Um, you can also connect it to uh, different buildings. So for example, right here, I put it in front of a little cluster of commercial buildings. It looks like a pub. So you, you can actually zone buildings on them. And I think it looks so cool having parking lots in front of your little cluster of shopping areas. 
Another one is just the generic tree pack and I love this one because they're these trees they're not really like you don't notice them which is what you want you want them to blend into your existing area um, I can I've I use these trees within the city um, out in the terrain area because there's a really good variety of different heights shapes thickness like you, you can see right here and I've used them throughout this terrain and doesn't it look good I think it, it it suits it quite well because you have the smaller bushes and then you have the larger trees and I think it's realistic to have the small bushes and then the large trees because it shows there's different types of growth happening and um, yeah it looks really good so definitely get those the next one is the urbanist road designs now this is a different pack of roads so instead of just doing the ordinary roads that are in the game you can download this pack which gives you a huge variety of different roads to try out in your city something a little bit more fancy um, you can even get roads like this which have no road uh, markings or you can get trees like that with the boulevard without the tree markings um, so yeah definitely check those out there's a whole lot more uh, on the workshop but um, yeah just putting it out there so check those out while we're over here, the next one is the sea walls or boardwalks, whatever you like to call them. I love them because they're a really cool way to show like, hey, this is the end of the city and this is where the water starts. Or you can also use them like on a terrain, like on banks. So if you have a bit of a cliff, you can use a seawall to make it a little bit more neater. Um, you have a huge variety on the workshop. I'm not going to show them all because there's just too many just to show but but like for example You can get ones that have a bit of a fence on it You can get ones that have different colors or different types of trees You can even get ones that have hedges or seats on them as well. So there's a huge variety So check those out and um, yeah, you'll thank me later Hedges are another one. Now, you might be thinking, why a hedge? But hedges are really versatile because you can put them really anywhere. You can use them as like a barrier um, instead of just doing a normal fence. And I, I like it because it, it brings that greenness. It brings that freshness. You can easily draw them out like, a, like an ordinary fence or a, a pathway. You can easily move them with the Move It mod as well, so they're really easy to implement. You can even you can even update them really easy to another type of fence if you want. So they're really cool. I love them, and I will never stop using them. Now this pathway to wrap up the video. I love this pathway because now I, I've been using this for a long time, but I love it because it has three different lanes. So it has First of all, the pedestrian pathway, but then it also has two lanes for cycling, so north and south. And there's something about this pathway that the Sims really, really love, and I've tested this. They prefer to use this pathway over driving or over public transport. There's, there must be some type of attraction level in this pathway. You can see I've used it throughout my whole city. It's just really, really cool. Um, and it brings your city alive. You can zoom in, you can see them cycling, see them walking their dog, walking to work with their briefcase. So I think it's really cool. Definitely you need a pathway. It, it just makes it so much nicer. Now, I asked you guys yesterday on the community tab, what are your most favorite assets? So let's go through three of them that I found. So the first one is this guy down here, which is called, uh, I think it's called Tur Tardis, Tardis. And what it is, um, it looks like a phone booth, right? Kind of, is that a phone booth? It's really out of shape, right? It's, it's huge, but what it does, it's a police station basically. So you can place this down. It's a less intrusive way instead of doing the actual huge building. Um, you could place it throughout your whole suburb, but I think it, it does look a little bit too big. So maybe make it a bit smaller. The next one is this lovely huge German castle which just came out on the workshop not too long ago. Um, a lot of you guys did suggest this and I assume a lot of you guys are just saying that because it is new but once it dies down you'll probably all forget about it but it is a really lovely looking castle. I love the odd shapes. I love how it fits in with the odd terrain really well and it's it's got a level of detail which I really love. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's really cool, right? It's nice. And then the last one is just a simple little recycling center. So in, instead of just doing um, like an incineration plant or your rubbish dump, 
recycling center, it's it looks nicer. It's it's more classy, I guess, instead of doing that big dirty looking thing over there. So yeah, that's basically it, you guys. So don't forget to leave a comment below. What is your most favorite asset or what is your most favorite mod? Um, but yeah, hopefully I didn't say mod instead of asset too much, but I'm sure I did. So if I said mod by accident, I'm sorry, I meant asset. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.